The rap system in Pet Simulator 99 is finally working once again. It took a whole two days for the system to come back and start working again. So now we are finally seeing what the effects of all the trades that have been happening in the past two days and how those have been affecting the prices of all of the huges and everything else. All right, you guys, so if you watched my last market analysis video, you will know that we talked quite a bit about an influencer's tweets and how they might affect the market. So a lot of people are asking me finally now that the market is actually moving because the wrap is working, if Jelly was actually right about the big deflation that we're seeing. Now, the answer to that is, yeah, no, I still don't think so. But we're going to talk about that in this video. Remember to join our Discord because we do daily giveaways on there. As well as just have a helpful community that can help you with all sorts of problems you have with Pet Simulator 99. And honestly, it's just the most up-to-date way I can get information out to you guys without having to edit and come up with a video idea and do all the recording and stuff. So it's just the best way that I can help you guys. So that's why I try to push the Discord as much as I can. So thank you guys if you joined. Remember to like the video as well and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 10K subs. I don't know what I'm going to do when we reach 10K. I haven't decided quite yet, but we'll probably do a huge giveaway on the Discord. So you're going to want to be joined up for that. But let's get right into it because it is already super late and I need to get this information out to you guys. And I need to tell you why Jelly is wrong. All right, you guys, so I was being a little dramatic with that intro. I don't think necessarily that Jelly was wrong because obviously we have seen prices actually plummet today after the wrap began to finally update. Uh, as you guys can see right here, the wrap value of the huge happy computer is now 38 million and it's been falling quite a bit because uh, while the wrap was frozen, the value of the huge happy computer was 41 million. And really quickly, I think I should probably give some context because I'm sure some of you did not watch the last market analysis video. But basically, the rundown of all the drama was that a content creator by the name of Sizzles Jelly Queen went ahead on Twitter and posted basically that they were having a big bet that deflation was going to hit. And at the time, uh, the wrap value was frozen at uh, 41 million for the huge happy computer and they basically said that they were betting 25 billion so they went ahead and sold 25 billion diamonds worth of cheap huges so basically either the huge happy rocks or the huge happy computers so they they, they were very confident that the pet deflation was going to happen now the thing about this stuff is that with the pet simulator 99 market the market's about 95 percent driven by just emotions and following the crowd. So when you get even like 5% of the pet sim market to do something, usually people begin to follow. So it's kind of hard to tell whether that this is like a real deflation period that we're seeing or if this is just kind of manipulated by that scare that people were expecting a big deflation to happen once the rap began to update once again. Now, I did think we were going to see a little like mini deflation period at the time that rep did freeze. So I don't think it's like completely unrealistic that we are seeing some a little bit of deflation now, basically. Um, well, to be fair, it's not really a little bit like three million in a day is a pretty big drop for some huge prices. But my personal opinion is that this is still just a temporary thing just caused by emotion. So I think this is just another one of those typical uh, short term deflation periods. A lot of people like Sizzle Jelly Queen was predicting that the deflation period was going to happen because of that patch that came to the balloon popping method where hackers were teleporting around collecting all of the large and small gift bags. So basically what that means for the economy is that all of those hackers were getting all of the large and small gift bags, which were basically spawning a ton of diamonds into the economy. Because unlike the other hacker methods that people have been exploiting, such as the dig site one or the fishing, like you don't get like bundles of diamonds like you do uh, with the large gift bags. So that's why... 
they're saying that this method was so bad. Personally, I think this did have some sort of effect on the market, but I don't think it had enough of an effect to really slow down inflation enough to even cause a deflation period. That's a lot of yapping to basically say that I'm expecting this to be a very short deflation period and that we will probably see the prices of huge pets bounce back rather quickly, but it's hard to tell with how fast things have been dropping in the past few wrap updates. One thing to mention though is that it does seem like the deflation has slowed down a lot because prior to the last wrap update, the huge happy computer was sitting at 38.3 million. So the drop was only about 300k, which considering how big of drops we were seeing today, that is not a big drop at all. So it is possible that we are seeing the price begin to stabilize and inflation might begin again soon. But uh, there's not enough information to really tell you guys that. Uh, you could probably find out if that's actually happening in my Discord in real time because I can't really tell you guys the future. I can only tell you guys what is happening in the current space. And another reason why I don't think deflation is going to happen is because we haven't gotten any new information. Because the only information that we've gotten that's been new that could cause some sort of change in the market is the fact that the exploit got patched. So besides that, there's nothing that could actually cause a deflation period. So that's why I think we are going to continue seeing inflation go once again. Plus the fact that Sizzle's Jelly Queen made such a big bet in the market that when they sold all of those huges to get those diamonds, they now have those diamonds just sitting there waiting to buy more huges. So probably as we speak, Sizzles is going ahead and buying huges, but we have no way to know without talking to them. But that's just my assumption, and the fact that they're putting that many diamonds back into the market is just going to drive prices up even more. Overall though, this is just something we're going to have to wait and see. Obviously, I can't predict the future. All I know is that there was no new information that could actually cause a deflation period and people are still making a ton of diamonds. Everybody I talk to is making more diamonds than they were making last week and more diamonds they were making last update. So everybody's making more diamonds. I don't see how the prices of huges don't continue rising. Unless, of course, we get some sort of leak of an update coming this week or next week, and there's some sort of good diamond sink that people expect people to be spending diamonds on instead of huges. So that's the only situation in which I could fathom an actual deflation period. And quickly, remember that our last deflation period, like our last real deflation period that we saw, was the announcement of the huge happy computer event because the game was introducing a million new huges into the game of course that's going to cause some crazy deflation which it did and that was basically the only deflation period i can actually remember that lasted more than like five wrap updates in the past couple months the only reason that i mention this is that the only way you see like an actual deflation period in a market is if there are some news or if something's changed that hasn't been priced in previously at the moment though we're just going to continue making more and more diamonds as well as all the leaks we've gotten seem to not indicate any sort of diamond sink that we're going to see be put into the game so with the current information that we have now is why i think that we are going to see inflation happen once again so the question of is sizzles jelly queen right about the deflation period kind of you know it's hard to say with how things are influenced in this game and how people are influenced like if you tell enough people that deflation is going to happen it probably will happen just because that's how a market works and people might get scared and especially in pet simulator 99 everybody just follows what other people are doing so that's just how it works. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Really quickly though, here are some of the leaks that we've seen uh, since my last video. So we're just gonna go over these really quick. So this appears to be some new tier nine enchants, which would be really cool. I'm not really taking the whole paw style on the enchantment books. Obviously we don't know if this is real or not, but this is what I've been having a lot of people been sending to me. So uh, we can only assume this is what the new enchantment books are going to look like. I'm always down to have more enchantment books in the game. I love upgrading. We always get a book that looks like a new magnet book. So I don't know why this is always included, but we never get something that's higher than magnet three. 
especially since we have the super magnet enchant now i don't know why this image is always given with these leaks as well and then another leak that we saw was this new essence machine so this would be different than the enchant essence machine that we saw in the previous leak so if we see this this could be that thing that i was talking about with the charm stones so this is another reason why i've been buying up some charm stones but honestly, I've just been flipping them uh, because sometimes you can find them for like 22K or 21K. So I'll buy as many as I can if I see them at that price. And then I'll sell them at like 25K or something. But I'm also holding on to a bunch of them because I think there will be some cool new thing going on with the charm stones in this new update so let me know down below what you think this essence machine could be but besides that as you guys can see i've been spending a lot of my gems i've been buying up these huge happy computers like crazy and i've gotten a lot of good deals on ones that are level 85 and up as you can see i have a ton that are like 95s 94s 90 i love to buy these because it saves a lot of time with grinding and when you're trying to flip these huges in the future, it's a lot easier to sell them if they are high levels like this. So just a tip, if you are looking for some good huge happy computer deals right now, if you find some that are like level 85 or even 95, like uh, level 95 is worth a little bit of overpay because it does take quite a bit for you to grind that huge up to that level. So a lot of people will try to buy them at that level already. So they are willing to pay a little more and therefore they sell pretty much quicker. So for flipping, it is always a good idea to buy stuff like this. And besides that, for the enchants, the chest mimic is still pretty high in price. Uh, I'm not too sure if this has been affected by the little deflation period that we're seeing right now. And for some reason, the boss lucky block book actually costs more than the boss chest mimic. I honestly cannot tell you why this is the case. I have not come across anybody who believes that the boss lucky block is as good as the boss chest mimic. So honestly, if you are looking to invest in enchantments, the boss chest mimic would be a good investment right now because it has fallen quite a bit since the wrap began updating once again, and it's cheaper than the boss lucky block. And I personally, I just think it's better. Plus, it's also going to leave the exclusive shop soon, as you can see. They even wrote on the exclusive board that it's your last chance to buy this thing. So, honestly, I, I think it'd be a good time to pick this thing up. The boss Lucky Black is just not a good computer uh, because, basically, you just don't get as high quality drops from the boss lucky block as you do from the boss chest mimic sorry about that you guys i had a lot of yapping to do in that video but i think there was a lot of good information that i gave you leave a comment down below if you like this new format with no background because i got this new green screen and honestly i can't really tell either way which one i like better I kind of like having the green background, but it kind of looks clean like this as well. So just let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, I have no preference, but whichever one gives you guys a better experience sounds good to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to join the Discord and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.